sapete ma ci sono due equivalenti rispettivamente in Francia e in Spagna che fanno esattamente quello che fa HD Forum Italia ma appunto in Francia e in Spagna. Allora in collegamento con noi abbiamo da Parigi uh, Jacques Donat Bouillot, il presidente del forum audiovisuel numérique. Bienvenue monsieur Donat Bouillot. Hello, good, mo good morning to, to everyone. Thank you for, for, for welcoming, welcoming uh, me in uh, the uh, Ultra HD Forum Italia. Merci. So, shall, I, uh, shall I begin now or? Uh, um, yeah. Just a minute. second. Uh, okay. Aspettate un minuto, wait a second, perché okay. siamo onorati di avere in presenza anche i due rappresentanti del parallelo spagnolo di HD Forum Italia. Abbiamo con noi Emili Plana Schintana e Jorge Rodriguez Lopez di UHD Spain. Bienvenuto a los dos. Hello. Ok, e prima di switchare in inglese vuoi fare... Una mezza sorpresa. Abbiamo anche in sala Cristiano Benzi che inviterei a salire sul palco. Cristiano, è ben conosciuto, è stato presidente di HD Forum Italia ed è membro del FAN, quindi gli chiederei di condividere il palco. Ok, uh, let's switch to English. I think that uh, we can start with intervention from... Uh, the colleagues, just well, really, just two words uh, regarding the cooperation, uh, because clearly it's quite important to establish a common network uh, in Europe for having the same specification, for having same rules. We had uh, some meetings with uh, French uh, friends and with Spanish friends. In Malaga, I went to Malaga Monday and Tuesday, we had also a meeting with uh, Jan Nock, uh, the English department of the activities uh, and the idea is to create uh, really co cooperation and collaboration to establish a true European network for all these kind of things. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Monsieur Dono Bouillot, it's your turn. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So, so I, I, I understood we are quite late, so, so I'm going to try to be, uh, to be very quick and I know lunchtime is coming, so, so it will be difficult to, to have all your attention, so, so I'm going to be very quick. Thank you again for, for Forum, uh, AG Forum Italia to, for inviting us and uh, give us the opportunity to, to present what we are doing in, in France. So I have prepared uh, a, few, uh, a few slides and I'm going to share my screen so, so that you can uh, see the, the slides. So there we go. Is it okay? Not yet. We don't see it. Uh, is it okay now? No, yeah. it's okay. Yes. So, so I, I, I switch to full screen. Okay. Okay. So, so um, uh, as uh, uh, as Tonio said, uh, Forum Audiovisuel Numérique uh, is very similar to what uh, HD Forum Italia is doing, uh, and uh, and when we had this very interesting uh, common presentation a, a few weeks ago, we realized we realized that we had uh, also common members. Uh, between uh, FAVN members and uh, AG Forum uh, Italia uh, members. Uh, for example, uh, Eutelsat is member of both forum and, it's, uh, and Cristiano Benzi uh, make it possible to have this uh, liaison meeting uh, between us. So we have uh, 23 uh, members, soon probably 24, which is almost the same number as, uh, as uh, Forum Italia. Um, I, I go very quick. Uh, so uh, our main mission are also very, um, very similar to, to those of your forum in, in Italia because we try to, to promote, explain and communicate on digital TV and the technical evolution to, of course, uh, TV viewers, but also uh, broadcasters, manufacturers and any company in the media industry. And of course, uh, a, a lot of our work is also dedicated to administration and public authority to, to give us, to give them the, the, the good message and, uh, and what we intend to, to promote and uh, try to, uh, 
have the, 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 the law and, uh, and regulation, be, uh, the evolution of law and, and regulations. So um, we have three constituencies, which are manufacturers, broadcasters, and network operators. Uh, and uh, I have uh, the honor and the opportunity to be the president of, uh, of, uh, of FAVN, uh, along with uh, someone with TDF, uh, which is a network operator, someone, Tony, who is from Sony Electronic, and uh, Anaïs uh, from uh, Dolby. And so uh, we, uh, we had uh, uh, a lot of work this past year because uh, the, the forum was a, a key element in uh, launching uh, a first uh, UHD multiplex uh, in France, and this is the following part of my uh, presentation. So, uh, just uh, so, so, so to give you an overview, a quick overview of the situation of uh, UHD in France, uh, we, take, we took the opportunity of uh, the next coming uh, Paris Olympic Games and Paris uh, and uh, Paralympic Games which will be um, held in Paris in uh, July and August for uh, Olympic Games and September for Paralympic Games. Uh, France Television has uh, the free uh, to air rights for, for the event and, uh, and for France Television, uh, we thought it was really an opportunity to, uh, to give the, 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 the chance to, to, to every uh, French people and every French household to watch uh, the Olympic Games in, uh, in UHD because TV production will be in, uh, in, in, in UHD. Um, we wanted uh, to do that in DTT because in France, uh, DTT has still an important market share. Maybe not as high as in uh, Italy, as far as I could understand, but it's still uh, quite high uh, because 20% um, uh, of viewers only receive DTT. They only have this, uh, this possibility to receive the, the, the linear channel. And around 40% of all viewers watch uh, linear programs of, on DTT. That means that even if you have uh, a subscription to uh, IPTV uh, network, which is very strong and popular in, in France, you still watch uh, linear programs such as T TF1 or, or, or France 2 on, uh, on DTT. That's why the market share of DTT is around 40%, which is quite high. Second point, which was very important for us to, to launch uh, a, a UHD DTT network, it was um, uh, the, the, the high percentage of households already uh, uh, using a UHD compatible uh, TV uh, receiver. Uh, in France, in uh, 200, to 2023, it's uh, 16 million uh, TV uh, uh, sets which are uh, UHD compatible and uh, with a forecast of 20 million in two, uh, 2024 out of a number of 28 million households in, uh, in France. And we, we, we assume that uh, the, the UHD uh, TV set are the main TV set of the household. Of, of course, like in every uh, uh, developed country's household have many TV sets, but we assume that the, the, the UHD uh, TV set is the main one. And so uh, most households will be able to, to, to receive uh, the UHD transmission. Uh, we um, made in the past years a few uh, trials and demos on UHD, such as uh, every year, the Roland Garros tennis uh, tournament on a dedicated temporary uh, channel. Uh, in France, there are already some sports events, such as uh, the, the, the Football World Cup in, uh, in 2022 and the Rugby World Cup uh, just, uh, just a, a few weeks ago, which was available on UHD on EPTV networks only. And, uh, and in fact, uh, not a lot of people were watching uh, these on IPTV network because uh, you don't have a lot of communication uh, on, on it. And, uh, and we think that really only DTT will make it um, uh, uh, will we, will uh, uh, will be uh, will be a, a, a network that will be adopted by all all viewers if we launch uh, such a, a network. So um, 
it was quite uh, a long way for us, for us in France Television, to uh, to, to to launch uh, the U, the UHD because the, the most difficult part, and I guess it's the same thing in every country, was to for, for public uh, for public service uh, broadcasters was to convince. Uh, government and media authority regulation uh, to grant us uh, the authorization and uh, to, uh, to grant us the authorization to and, and to, 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 to roll out uh, to, to deliver us the, the, the license and, and be able to roll out the, the DTT multiplex. So uh, the license was only granted a few weeks ago. It's real new, as you can see, but we knew. Uh, that uh, we, we had the, the green light, I would say, from, the, from uh, our um, uh, administration, uh, which uh, uh, from a French administration, which was the most important part for us. We had the, the, the green light in May uh, this year, so so uh, so still very short, uh, but uh, enough to be able to launch uh, DTT for uh, for 2024 on France 2 as a permanent uh, channel and we will do uh, a pop-up channel for France 3 only for the Olympic and Paralympic uh, Games. Uh, luckily, we have anticipated all uh, these... Uh, uh, we have anticipated uh, the, the green light for government and most of the work has been, uh, has been uh, done in, in parallel uh, so that we can be ready beginning 2024. Uh, we really we worked for with um, the, the media regulation authority, which is ARCOM, to elaborate the frequency plan. Uh, so we, we, we still have um, uh, some uh, issues with uh, on on on, um, on borders, French borders, with uh, neighboring countries such as uh, Italy, of course, uh, but uh, the most difficult, I think, will come from uh, uh, Belgium and, uh, and, uh, and Germany. Uh, as, as, we as, public, uh, as, we are, as we are a public company, we have to, to, to launch a pu um, call for tenders, and so uh, uh, we issue that before having uh, the, the green light, but uh, it, was, it was okay, it, was, it, it could allow us to to, 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 to be ready on time. Uh, so the, the network, uh, the DTT network that we will roll out will cover around 70, uh, 70 of the population in metropolitan France. It's less than the other networks, but uh, it's because we don't have uh, enough frequencies uh, to, uh, to have a, a full coverage, but it will be uh, uh, it will be still a, a good coverage because all main city will be covered, and we also uh, will launch some uh, some uh, UHD DTT uh, in French overseas territories: uh, Guadeloupe, Martinique, uh, Polynesia, etc. We will be on uh, DTH with uh, our friends from and partners from uh, from Utelsat, and in in, in France. The, DTT, the uh, DTH platform operated by uh, uh, Utelsat is called FranceSat. Uh, and we will be, of course, uh, distributed by uh, IPTV uh, providers uh, because, uh, as I said, if 40% still watch DTT, then 60% don't watch uh, TV on DTT, and, and we have to be uh, on all distribution networks so, so, so that French population can, uh, can watch the, the program. Just a, a, a short technical information. So the, the broadcasting standard uh, is DVB-T2 with C, uh, C prima. I don't know how to say that in, uh, in English. Profile, HEVC modulation, of course. Definition will be full uh, 4K. Uh, we choose HGR-10 for uh, colorimetry. And sound will be first uh, EAC3, uh, and we move to uh, AC4 when all uh, on, uh, all products are, are ready, which is not exactly the case uh, right uh, right now. Um, so, so this is a, a, an overview of what uh, the coverage of the DTT uh, UHD network will be in France when we open it.
Um, we will try to open uh, Paris Eiffel Tower uh, in a, really in a few weeks. Uh, our, our goal is to open it December 12th, so uh, that's really short. And then uh, open most of the transmitter in the first tri no, trimester of uh, the first quarter, sorry, of uh, of 2024 and uh, and the small one until the end of the second quarter. We want to to uh, to anticipate um, uh, uh, Olympic Games uh, before uh, because um, uh, people and and um, and uh, and collective. Um, uh, uh, collective apartment we have will have to do works to adapt the, the, the antenna so 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 we want to give uh, all these people as much time as possible to to be ready to to, to receive the, the uh, our our programs um, just uh, just to, and this is a light slide uh, um, this would probably had, uh, wouldn't have been possible without the, the help of uh, and the structure of uh, of uh, our forum, because our forum was a very good uh, and uh, and very efficient organization uh, to work with Arcom and the administration on AG subject to prepare uh, and uh, and lobby. Uh, let's use uh, the, the this this term. To, to, to prepare the, the administration to, for, for, for UHD um, with uh, all uh, uh, members of, uh, of the media industry, broadcaster, TV set manufacturer, network operators. We could elaborate very quickly a French UHD profile. And uh, as we said, as we say in France, uh, we didn't reinvent the wheel. I don't know if there is a, 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 something similar in Italian, but. We, we, we didn't we wanted this specification to be uh, to be uh, very easy to to implement for 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 industry manufacturers and network operators and as well bring the best quality program to to viewers and I, I think we 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 made something which is very easy for 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 manufacturers to to implement in uh, in their TV set and uh, the first test show that uh, there's no problem on uh, on uh, on on the TV set, uh, including those uh, sold uh, in uh, 2000 uh, uh, years before uh, this year to 2016, 2017, etc. So, so most of the uh, mo most of the television uh, of the uh, TV set will be compatible, which is uh, uh, good news. Uh, so, so, the, so the, the forum specification, as I said, has been approved by uh, by Arcom. Uh, Arcom uh, FAVN members also provided uh, all the um, all the market uh, UHD uh, test files. So, so manufacturers not members from uh, from uh, from uh, our forum can use and test and. Uh, and uh, the, the, the files and the media and, and make sure that products are compatible with the French UHD profile. Uh, in, in, the, in the weeks to come, as you, as, uh, you may have seen, uh, the, the launch is, uh, will come very, uh, very soon. Uh, we have close work between TV manufacturers, network providers, administration, in, inside the, the, our forum to prepare the, the launch of the, the UHD network. So, so um, uh, very, very happy to, uh, to, to, to be able to, to, to present uh, you this, uh, uh, this, uh, this nice project and uh, that will bring to, to French uh, uh, population uh, uh, UHD network and, 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 and be the first move of the DTT platform to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to move to full, uh, full UHD. But thank you very much. I hope I, I was not too, too long, and uh, of course I can answer some of, uh, of the questions if you need. Merci, merci, merci. Eccomi qua. Uh, merci, Monsieur Dono Bouillot. Now I leave the word to the Spanish colleagues. We are a little bit ahead of time, so if we want to have uh, lunch all together, we have to reduce yeah. a little bit. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for the previous speakers because the delay will allow us 
to lunch at a Spanish time, so that's good. So thank you very much, Italy, for, for helping us. We were mentioned before that this is a very kind from your side, so, yeah. Emily. <laughs> it's a good detail, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if we have the presentation. Here you have your turn. Let me know how it works. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first, <clears throat> let us to introduce a little bit what is UHD Spain. It's an association that is really very uh, similar to, to your associations. Uh, <clears throat> we will see this very quick. Uh, UHD Spain is a very young association created and founded in, in January 26. Close, in close. Oh, yeah. sorry. Uh, I <laughs> I, I am engineer. I, I cannot <laughs> assume this mistake. Sorry. Uh, well, the association was founded in January in 2021 with uh, 13 partners. Uh, now we are 14. Uh, and in the starting of the foundation, uh, we decided to, to be international from the first day. Uh, this means that we, we like to collaborate with uh, organizations, alliance, and, and forums worldwide. Uh, that also promotes UHD, obviously, and uh, we try to create an international uh, platform to, for the dissemination of all about uh, UHD. This was the founding partners and the new members we have uh, today. Uh, all the industry uh, in Spain is represented with this, uh, these partners. We have uh, all all type of companies uh, and, and, and we work together uh, with, the same, with the same philosophy. Uh, <clears throat> we created uh, different working groups. Uh, these working groups are uh, working isolated in some projects and they work together uh, or combining different groups depending on the, on the test, on the project or on, on, the, on the proof of concept. And basically, we cover the production with the cameras uh, and, and the, cap well, the capturing signals, the post-production uh, where we work about the, the formats and, and the interchange uh, files uh, in UHD uh, and these kind of things, and coding, transmission, receivers, and, and audio. The main activities, Jorge will explain better. So we will explain you. Um, Sorry, more or less what we are doing. The first thing that we are doing is a white book, I think, and I know that you already have one. So this is a white book focusing ultra high definition, including different aspects of the, of, that we should consider in the ultra high definition deployment, like capture, signal encoding, high dynamic rates, reception, etc. In the second edition that we produce in 2022, we uh, incorporate new content uh, coming from the tests and the demonstrations that we have done, but also a uh, new and relevant thing for, uh, for us, that is the audio. So we include uh, different reference to, to audio. We are now preparing the third edition for next year uh, that uh, probably will come by the end of the year with a version in, in English for you. Um, training course, we, we, from the beginning also we understand that we need to uh, uh, disseminate information about ultra high definition to the experts in, uh, in our industry. So together with the University Politecnica of, of Madrid, we produce a 35 in ultra high definition for uh, the professional sector that covers all of our activities, all of the main relevant things uh, uh, that should be uh, considered for being a professional in the ultra high definition world. We already are, do we are doing a lot of uh, webinars and uh, 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 yeah, dissemination activities like this with different courses and webinars focusing different aspects like 5G, DBBI, Dolby Amos, uh, MPEG-H, uh, live streaming and Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And of course, uh, w one of the main objectives of this alliance is to uh, communicate about ultra high definition, not only focusing 
uh, B2B, but also trying to, as much as possible, to, 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 to get to the user. We are participating in several forums. One of the most important, I think, you know, is the 4KSDR summit that is being uh, held in Spain since a long time ago, more than 10 years. Uh, but of course, we participate in other in other in other places. Um, we produce press releases. We have our social networks very active, and uh, as Emily and myself are representing here, we try to collaborate and expand our relationship with other forums, like of course the Ultra HD Forum Italia, also with the Ultra HD Forum. We expect also with the French College to start to establish certain collaboration. And as you know, in Spain, we always have an eye on Latin America. So we are working with some companies, some associations there. It's true that this is still difficult. There are a lot of challenges, but we participate in, or we are trying to, to also work together with this, with this part of the world that is involved also in the production of new content and new technology. Um, Test. We, we have performed a lot of tests together uh, in the different working groups that uh, uh, Emilia has mentioned, audio, production, camera, encoding. Uh, we, we have also had done some TV set plug fest. Um, and with all of this information, we also produce more, um, I would say, a, um, complete test with end-to-end -end pilots. Uh, uh, that has been performed a couple of times, including all the value chains and doing broadcasting in different media like DTT, satellite streaming, OTT, and 5G. So all of the results of this end-to-end -end, um, um, test has been also reflecting our white book, for, of course. The last, demo, the last test that we have done is, uh, I think it was mentioned in previous, in previous uh, um, uh, speakers, we do a 5G ultra high definition uh, uh, proof of concept, including uh, ultra high definition HDR, HDR and 5G. What was the concept? The concept, we carry out a test, a transmission of an end-to-end -end ultra high definition concert recorded in, recorded in live with 5G technology as a contribution part uh, from image to a broadcaster. The objective of the test considering a setting and a complete ultra high definition workflow with HDR HLG uh, from the camera to the user's device using 5G as a contribution, edge and cloud processing that is also quite interesting to uh, pro process uh, and do the production in the cloud of ultra high definition content. And uh, after this, we transmit the content in different uh, media like DTT, satellite, 5G broadcast, uh, etc. So this prof proof of concept we think that is quite innovative. There were some tests with 5G broadcast in, 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 uh, in other regions, but the complete ultra high definition 5G production in the cloud contribution and 5G broadcast, I think we think that is one of the most interesting things or pioneer things that has been done in this in this domain. By the way, as uh, Fran has, the French College has mentioned, um, we are also supporting a lot the, 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 uh, the Spanish uh, industry to launch ultra high definition and we have been very involved in the World Cup uh, ultra high definition in Spain there was a, a broadcasting of this World Cup using um, DTT that was quite pioneer and also a song streaming a, a platform. Um, and right now, recently, the Ultra, uh, sorry, the RTV, the Spanish broadcaster, the DTT the Spanish broadcaster has announced that they also will have a new channel um, early next year, a commercial channel for in ultra high definition. So they say, I think that they want to be uh, before the France, uh, 
So you know that always for Spanish to be before France is a challenge and is, is something important. So I think they, they, they will do the, the, the best to, to be the first one. But, uh, well, so I think in general it's good for our industry that we are seeing these broadcasters supporting ultra high definition. We perform, uh, you know, an event, uh, uh, a small trial, but what's also very interesting to show the end user what is ultra high definition. We conduct a specific event in a cinema in Madrid where we display a match in ultra high definition. Uh, HDR using both DTT signals that are were coming from uh, TVE uh, and the RTT pay-per-view platform from Gold Team. And that's all. I don't know if you want to add something to the test, by the way, or? Um, <coughs> well, basically, the, the test we, we explained uh, with the 5G connectivity, it was a real uh, UHD HDR uh, production in 2116p50 resolution with HDR uh, and the 2020 color space, etc. with the maximum quality we think that is uh, possible to produce uh, with these technologies. Well, uh, this is an idea. We, we are a little bit uh, optimistic on, on this, but uh, it, this is our proposal for the collaboration with different associations uh, in, in Europe and, and in the rest of the world if it's possible. Uh, we would like to, to share uh, and co-publish uh, relevant information. Uh, if we can uh, share training courses or we can uh, train uh, our people with your training courses or uh, other kind of um, training, uh, we will be happy. Uh, we would like to communicate uh, with the maximum um, uh, coincidence of uh, rules and, and, and needs, if it's possible, and this we, we think that we need to share uh, all the all this kind of information to to know if all the associations agree with uh, some specifications or some workflows or or, or whatever is needed in the USD production and distribution uh, to to make a little bit better um, pressure on the market and, and to have uh, more common uh, knowledge and, and, and systems. Uh, to do this well, we will like to, to agree that uh, your white papers uh, are supported by uh, UHD Spain, for example, or these kind of things. And uh, we would like to participate uh, in test uh, and pilots, uh, and we would like to share uh, the participation of these tests and pilots we, we will produce in, in the future with uh, all of you. The idea is to be in contact uh, constantly and try to search uh, the best uh, ways to, to be together. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Presidente. Un saluto vogliamo farlo insieme al nostro ospite, diciamo d'onore e anche a sorpresa, Cristiano Benzi. Sì, grazie. Allora, come forse avete visto in agenda, il mio intervento non era previsto e soprattutto non voglio prendermi la responsabilità adesso di ritardare ulteriormente il pranzo, quindi possiamo partircene tranquilli. Una cosa, un saluto, giusto se tu mi consenti, volevo attirare certo. l'attenzione sul fatto che oggigiorno i presidenti dei tre forum che abbiamo visto, il francese, lo spagnolo e l'italiano, sono espressione del servizio pubblico, sono dirigenti degli operatori pubblici. Secondo me questa è una cosa estremamente importante perché testimonia come il servizio pubblico si faccia l'attore e promotore dell'evoluzione tecnologica e sia presente, sia disposto ad accettare le sfide, tec le sfide tecnologiche che eh, dobbiamo tutti quanti affrontare. Mi sembra una cosa importante, ci tenevo a sottolinearlo. Grazie Cristiano, eh, prima di liberarvi per il pranzo breve poi Anna dirà le ultime cose, switch, switch back to English because uh, to our friends I want to say that in the next reunion of the HD Forum Italia we will, uh, made, uh, we will nominate uh, a person of the uh, vice president in charge of Creating, uh, creating a relationship with all the forum. Can, I cannot tell officially the name because clearly we have to decide together, 
but uh, he will contact you as soon as possible after the nomination. Ok, thank you, have a good lunch. A che ora è l'appuntamento? Anna? Ecco, allora l'appuntamento slitta, diciamo per il pranzo, l'avete notato, siamo un pochettino in ritardo, ci vediamo qui puntualissimi alle due e mezza. Un applauso a chi è rimasto veramente hardcore fino a questo momento, grazie mille, ma mh, dopo la pausa, quindi due e mezza ci vediamo qui, ci saranno due tavole rotonde davvero eccezionali, quindi vi chiedo di rimanere con noi perché veramente ospiti incredibili. Ci vediamo dopo due e mezza.